manifest the magic. Yeah, nice. We got a fragment. What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today we're gonna talk about everything that is gonna be going down in the month of April. Of course, a lot of places are still on lockdown. A lot of people are still self-quarantine. I have gotten tired of staring at my four walls, so while social distancing, I decided to come to a walking trail where I can get out and just breathe some fresh air and see some green as you can behind me but i wanted to let you guys in on what is going to be going on during the month of april there will still be a community day there still are going to be two brilliant events and there's going to be a very very interesting event that takes place similar to the frosty foundables or similar to the oddities event in february uh, i'm not gonna say similar to magical mischief because a lot of you out there did not enjoy that event and wb is well aware of that uh it's a trying time for everybody and the fact that they even were able to still put on the event you know at all was nice uh, it didn't work as intended and i know a lot of people are frustrated so i hear you I hear you, I hear you, and everybody knows <laughs> on the WB side of things how everybody feels. But I want to let you guys in on everything that's going to be going on this month starting right now. The Borough Besieged Brilliant event will begin Tuesday, April 7th at 11 a.m. Pacific. Tuesday, April 14th at 11 a.m am pacific is when it will end and the description for that one is help return brilliant weasley foundables including ron weasley and fred and george weasley's infamous decoy detonators and then there will be a community day uh it's called community day play at home edition and this will actually be really cool because it's an all-day event saturday april 18th from midnight or 12:01 a.m to 11:59 p.m local time so that'll be where you live wherever you live there's no weird time zones or anything like that but in your local time 12:01 a.m to 11:59 p.m uh, you're actually going to be seeing some really cool things. This one says, uh, put your Magizoology skills to the test and return the Mertlap and other Magizoology foundables. I, for one, am very excited because I need the Niffler. I need lots of Nifflers um, to prestige my page, and that's kind of like the trickiest one, you know, so uh, hopefully I can get a few of those to push my page to the next level. I think that on the first Magizoology page, I'm actually at silver, so it'd be nice to be able to get that one to gold. Um, and again, this has been extended to a 24 hour, 23 hour, 59 minute long event to help everyone participate, no matter where you are in the world. If you have to go to work, if you have to deal with errands, no matter where you are, you can play all day long on Saturday, April 18th. Now, the Burrow Besieged event part two, that will happen Tuesday, April 21st from 11 a.m. Pacific to April 28th, one week later at 11 a.m. Pacific. And that will be uh, another Weasley Foundable event that will be focused on the, the Weasleys. And it says, continue to help return Weasley Foundables, including Jenny Weasley and the Flying Weasley card. There are, of course, going to be quest steps for each of these, and I'll be going through those uh, at a later time when we have all of that information. Now, here is probably the coolest of the events, in my opinion. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm excited for Community Day. I'm excited to get some more Nifflers. I'm excited to see uh, all of these foundables come back in a brilliant event form. But I really, really am interested for this next one. This next one is called Nature and Nifflers Event. And it will run Tuesday, April 28th at 12.01 a.m. to Wednesday, April 29th at 11.59 p.m. So it'll have the same amount of time to it uh, as this Magical Mischief event. And the description for that is free Magizoology foundables from the clutches of a new dastardly oddity, the Poacher. So not only are we going to have a new type of event, featuring different types of uh, magical creatures, but we'll actually be getting a brand new oddity that has never before been seen in Wizards Unite. I'm really interested to see what the poacher is all about. If the poacher just like has the foundables and we have to like defendo or bombarda him or something like that or knock him back. I don't know what that looks like, but I'm extremely interested to see this new oddity. Uh, maybe it'll be a new oddity page. Who knows uh, what it will look like, but I just know that I'm extremely excited for this. It sounds really free 
freaking cool. Uh, so make sure that, of course, you guys are, you know, staying in conversation with Wizards Unite. Use the hashtag Wizards Unite whenever you're making a post or have a question. Uh, make sure you follow along on their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram channels for the latest news and updates in regards to the game and the Harry uh, Potter Wizards Unite community forum as well for all of the information. So that is it for this month, the month of April. Two brilliant events, one unique oddity event that is going to be Nature and Nifflers, and of course a play at home, stay at home community day type event. I'm just interested to see what happens, like how it is forcing players to either play together or away from each other, obviously. I know that there are several people in my Discord who have talked about they, they go out after business hours in their cars and they play fortresses together but they're nowhere near each other so like they're staying safe and still playing together and coming up with creative solutions to find ways to play together so i'm very interested in that i'm very interested to see what happens with this game and of course excited to continue to stream these types of events i'll probably be doing a stream on youtube and a stream on twitch so make sure that you follow me over there on my socials and all that good stuff and you'll be kept up to date when i go live what i'm doing what i'm playing and all of that good stuff so guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below are you excited for the month of april i know a lot of people are still very doom and gloom and and sort of uh, you know thinking and considering about what's going on with the the world right now you know and there are still a lot of people who are worried and that's completely reasonable and completely okay but uh, the good news is wizards unite is still here it's still going strong and it will be for the foreseeable future so let me know again down in the comment section below your thoughts and feelings on all of this if you haven't already make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video down below make sure you click that thumbs up because it really does help out the video a lot and click that red subscribe button if you haven't already followed by that notification bell so you know and can stay up to date on the latest news in regards to Wizards Unite when something drops I try to be the first person out to break that to you guys uh, due to just early access to info and all that good stuff so make sure you hit that sub button and ring those notification bells and I will see you in the next video but until next time Peace.